Today we are flying to El Salvador, about a five hour flight south southeast from Los Angeles. Landing you just about on the equator line, meaning it is hot as heck here. El Salvador is known for its black sand beaches and sunny right hand point breaks, a place that I've been coming to for actually a long time. It used to be very dangerous, but in recent years, the new president has really cleaned up the area and I truly love coming back here every single year. Fresh off the plane and we've been invited to take a helicopter to the right hand point break of Punta Mango. I am quite afraid of helicopters, but I'm very excited to see what this wave has in store. So we just landed on the beach, the wave's there, <clears throat> now we're going to get our boards because they drove our boards here this morning and then we're going to go surf. What an awesome day spent with an awesome crew. Really stoked to have experienced this wave and definitely want to get back to it in the future. It's time to head back to Punta Roca and get ready for the contest. Okay, we made it home from Punta Mango. Is that what it's called? Punta Mango. Punta Mango. That was super fun. That is a good wave. I don't know if we should be saying that, but that wave. Oh, there's a lot of people there. Has some serious potential. That, I will say. Hey, oh. Well, right in El Salvador. Um, we had a fun day. Thank you to El Salvador Surf City for hosting us. And. Tom won the heat, and uh, yeah. Well, I don't know about win the heat. He did. He did. Salvador is pretty rad, honestly. I'd put it on a high list of recommendation if you're thinking about doing a surf trip and you're from anywhere in the States. It's very close to get to. And there's a little ways, and it's really hot. It's Bring warm. Bring electrolytes. Warm AF, people. One of the best parts about travel is trying different foods. Funnily enough, today we will be trying French cuisine. Some of my good friends opened up a crepe shop here in El Salvador and we're gonna stop by. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even know, I don't even know what I'm doing. We're making like a fresh strawberry banana with some Nutella. Brittany style. Today. I really are, you, are you unsavory? Yeah, unsavory again. What do you think, Ivy? 10 out of 10. 
Without even tasting it. Yeah, without even trying it. 10 out of 10 visuals. Look at this. Round two. This might be the best crepe you've ever had. If it beats yes, I'll be baffled. If it beats yes, I'll be baffled. Beautiful. We just had dinner and we had to walk back to our villa and it's been raining for like an hour or so. We're just, We're just embracing, embracing, so, embracing so, the wet. Hola. <laughs> Just embrace it at this point. So wet. Kind of like a scene out of the notebook, please. Potentially day one, round one of the contest today in El Salvador. We're on our way there on a dirt road. Hopefully the waves are pumping. We have lots of swell. The only thing is the wind that could be a little bit uh, tricky and challenging.
By far the most challenging part of Punta Roca is the rocks coming in, hence the name, Rocky Point. They are slimy and slippery and barnacles all over, so if you do ever surf here, make sure to be careful coming in and out. It's time for round one. The waves are looking very fun. Let's go. Needed a score in the final minutes to move on to the quarterfinals. Yeah, it was... Point right there by Katie. And then this one from Lakey, her best ride so far, 3.33. Decent one. One of those that didn't necessarily have the best wall out of the three waves that we saw surf. But still, at least getting something on the board, getting her best ride. Nice little click right there and finishes with a... Right there, maybe just kind of working through a couple things on Whoa. that wave. Now a little bit cleaner of a wave here for Lakey Peterson, but not as long. Um, the one behind it, Chris, I really love this last turn right here. And a part of my uh, weird grunts every now and then. But that It's 11.14 to go here. Nice little double up for Lakey Peterson. She's able to wind up a little bit through that bottom turn. Oh. That right there is the Lakey Peterson money turn. Do it again. Quick snap there. Kind of cutting halfway into that turn. Waiting for this wave to form up. And it does on the inside. That was a foam climb to a closeout. Unfortunately, the year of poor results continued at this event. However, I really do feel encouraged and like I made some strides in the right direction here. Still proving I have a long way to go and much to work on, but I've got a lot of time off and I'm really looking forward to coming back next year or whenever I compete again next, much, much stronger. Suitcase. Well, we normally have an extra suitcase. Yeah. Thanks, DB, for the epic bags. We, we love them and appreciate it. And uh, yeah, headed home. Thanks, El Sal. Until next year. We definitely did. We had a great week in El Salvador. I did not get the result I wanted here, but um, it's good competing. And I'm, I'm, I'm trending in the right direction, so that's good. We had fun. Until next year. Until next year. We're headed home. Lots of waves on the horizon. Lots of fun on the horizon. 